Hello and welcome again to another Friday Quick Tip. I'm going to show you very quickly here how to create an action in Photoshop that will greatly speed up your workflow for the things that you do routinely. If you do not see your actions panel over here, come up to window and click on actions and then you should see it and you can click and drag these around and nest this anywhere you like. There we go. You're going to record your actions, whatever it is that you happen to do during the recording, and then you're going to stop it and you're going to save it. And then the next time you want to repeat that action, you just click on play and boom, I'm ready to go. So let me show you how I made that. So I have to create a new action. You can pick which set you want to put this in. I suggest keeping these things kind of organized so you don't lose it. And I'm going to say dodge and burn example so that I can get rid of it later. <laughs> so, Because I already have one, I don't need to. So I'm going to click on record. And now we have to remember that everything that we do is being recorded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer. So see here it says make layer. So that's step one. I'm going to say edit, fill. I'm going to pick 50% gray and make sure that my mode is normal. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. And then I'm going to come here and click stop. This is as far as I want to go because I'm going to be using this on very different images. I don't want to record any brush strokes yet because those are completely image dependent. So this is the point where I want to click stop. So here we go, dodge and burn example. So let's trash that. And I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to click play. There we go. We have a layer. It's filled with gray and the blending mode has been changed to overlay. I have my brush selected. So now I can just start painting in brightness where I want it. Hit the X key and paint in darkness where I don't want it. This is the dodge and burn technique. I have another video for that using this exact same image. So if you're cur curious about doing the dodge and burn layer like this, like I have it set up in here, be sure to click on that video as well. I hope you have found this quick tip helpful. I hope it speeds up your workflow like it speeds up mine. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you soon.